Hello everyone, my name is Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com. I'm looking at Google Mars and I was uh, looking for some different objects and came across a few things that I've seen before and you've probably seen before and a few things I haven't seen before, which is quite interesting. So I want to make this video. Uh, sorry I have a voice like a frog, but right now I have a cold, uh, so uh, there's nothing I can do. Uh, I was coming across Google Earth, uh, Google Mars, and I found this structure along the edge of the crater. You can see the lines and the right angles right here. It is perfect. And it looks like there's an entrance right over here. Okay, if I move this out of the way, you can see the actual Google Earth image. It's right here. And I will include the coordinates to find this. It really looks out of place. Okay, there it is right there. Here it is enlarged. Kind of cool, very unusual. Let's look at the other anomaly I was checking out uh, today. Nearby, there is a face, uh, kind of an interesting face. It looks a lot like Buddha. Uh, this is an old discovery. I don't know who discovered it. I heard about five or 10 people discovered it. And next to it, there seems to be uh, some kind of hand or something. But look at the face, quite extraordinary. Very unusual. And if we look at this face when it is, uh, let's see, where is it? When we look at this face, uh, it can look quite different. Okay, I'm going to change the color a little bit, adjust the color, and you'll be able to see. Okay, this is with added light. And this is with. Okay, right up here you sort of see some structures in the upper corner area. So this face is quite unusual. Uh, here it is right here, but next to it is another face. Here's the eye, the forehead, the nose, the lips, the chin, and it's facing the same direction as this face over here, almost, almost slight different angle. This one's looking this way. This one's looking about five degrees higher. And the neck is tilted at a different angle. But there are two faces, the same size, next to each other. Very cool. And up here, I've been looking at this for years. I really don't understand what this is. Uh, but it really looks like a ball or a head with an arm reaching out and you see the buttocks, the woman's stomach area, it looks like a stomach area, uh, the thigh, upper thigh, the lower back of the leg, and down here, and then the foot down here. Okay, so here's a face here, here's a face here, here's a standing person. It looks like a standing person, but if it is, it has to be an alien, because I really don't recognize this. Also, this object here has to be something. It's, this is so close, it has to be something. So what is it? Uh, it looks a lot like an arrow pointing in this direction. And this hand seems to be pointing in that direction too. Uh, very odd, kind of unusual. So if those two things were faces, as we saw, then this has to be a structure. This has to be a building right over here. It's hard to see. Look like pyramids of some sort, some kind of structures, some kind of buildings. Uh, but let's go up to the third one. There are a couple anomalies in this Mars area I want to look at. And here is a what looks like a building hidden in the shadows along the edge. Looks like a large castle-like building. And if you zoom in, almost looks like a face, eye, nose, mouth. But I'm not interested in that part. The fact that it looks like a building hidden inside. Let's go to number four. In the same area, not too far away. Okay, I was, this is brand new. This, I just came across this today. And I've never seen anyone report this one. This one is probably one of the few discoveries uh, other than the first one that has not been reported. Uh, this is a face, very, very ancient, much older than the one you saw earlier. Uh, this one looks like it was made at the beginning of Mars. Uh, 
Can you see the eye, the forehead, the nose, the lips, the chin, and the neck, the neck area here? It is wearing a helmet. This is the outline of the helmet. Back of the helmet, bottom of the helmet, upper here. Now it could be hair, mind you, it could be hair. Uh, we did have that hairstyle back in the, you know, 1500s, 1400s for people. And it was very common and uh, kind of looks like the Mo style, you know, curly Larry Mo, except it's longer on one side. So this is very unique. Here, let's go to a number five object. This is a face. Uh, this face is, I really don't know who discovered this face, uh, quite unusual and a little bit difficult to see. Uh, you have to turn this so you can see it better. Can you see the face here? Okay, this is the eyebrow, this is the nose, the eye, it's open mouth. It has an open mouth and you see teeth here, top of the mouth, bottom of the mouth with the teeth. Something's going into the mouth, it seems to be eating something. Or maybe that's a, some kind of spiky tongue coming out, it's really hard to tell. Here is the chin. And here is some ear. Uh, we cannot see the hair, sorry. But you do see the eye and the area. Now you really have to look at this one closely. So pause the video really if you don't see it. It could take a few seconds. It took me a few seconds because uh, look where north is. When north is up this way, you don't see it because the face is looking down. Uh, but when you turn it this way, you can see it much more clearly. Okay, let's go off to the pyramid. Uh, there is a pyramid nearby. This is all the Sidonia region. Uh, I'm sure this has been reported a thousand times, but it's huge. It is giant in shape. Really, really big. You see this pyramid right over here. Now if we zoom out, we see the famous uh, face at Sidonia. I actually found this about uh, whew, 30, 38 years ago, 39 years ago. I was in first grade in San Jose, California when I found this back in the 19 late 1970s, early 1980s. Uh, but you can't see it, they changed the color of the face so it makes it harder to see the face as it done yet. All right, uh, if you like this, uh, give us the thumbs up and subscribe and I will try to make a new video very, very soon for you. My name is Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily and I'll see you later.